New Cook is back after 34 years. 34 years after it debuted, and then disappeared, New Coke is back. The often maligned soda goes on sale online Thursday as part of a tie-in with the Netflix show Stranger Things, Coca-Cola announced Tuesday. The third season of the show set in the 1980s launches on July 4 and will take place in 1985. That year, Coca-Cola angered soda drinkers with the launch of a new version of its flagship drink. New Coke quickly became an example of misgodging consumer demand and remains a punchline three and a half decades later. The 12 ounce cans of New Coke, made from the same recipe that sparked the 1985 revolt, will go on sale at 5 p.m. ET at CokeStore.com. They'll be part of a bundle when shoppers buy at least two limited edition Stranger Things Coca Cola or Coke Zero Sugar 8 ounce glass bottles. Free cans of new Coke will also be available for a limited time via an upside-down Stranger Things-inspired vending machine in select cities, starting Thursday in New York. And people who buy a ticket or gift at the World of Coca-Cola in Atlanta on certain days during the week of June 3rd will have a chance to get new Coke cans as a gift, while supplies last. When Netflix told us season 3 was going to be set in the summer of 1985, with the tagline that one summer could change everything dash that rang so true for us, said Ona Vlad, director of Coca-Cola Trademark, Coca-Cola North America. The summer of 1985 did in fact change everything for us with the introduction of New Coke, which was also arguably one of the biggest pop culture moments of that year. She explained that once Coca-Cola realized how large a role the beverage would play in the show, the company decided to revive the soda. New Coke, the Edsel of the soda world, was available for 79 days in 1985, and the Atlanta soda giant is now predicting the new batch will be gone even faster. Stranger Things creators Ross and Matt Duffers came up with the idea to bring New Coke back as a way to promote the show which will start streaming on Netflix, NFLX on July 4. The third season of the show takes place during the summer of 1985, when Coca-Cola, K.O., debuted a new recipe for its iconic beverage. Bringing new Coke back is a way for Coca-Cola to not take ourselves too seriously, Stuart Cronodge, president of Coke's sparkling business unit and senior vice president of marketing for Coca-Cola North America. And it wasn't easy to recreate the product, Coca-Cola had to reach into its archives to get the design of right, and dig through its vault to recover the recipe.